Welcome to the Drive Bar <laughs> Comedy Podcast, everyone. My name is Shane Smith, and my two esteemed guests today are Jordan Macon and Taylor Nielsen. Here we are. Oh, I like being a guest. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Thank you for joining me today. Of course. It's really good to have you both here. I'm glad you can make it. It's early. I wonder whose fault that is. Not mine. I feel like it was your fault, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it was super my fault. <laughs> Yeah, why'd you want to do it so early? You have stuff going on today? Yeah, we have early outs at school. We have to uh, pick a young lady up from school. Oh, so. oh nice. mm-hmm. How early are early outs these days? Early outs are like one thirty or something. I don't think I had early outs when I was in I elementary school. I didn't have early outs. I had block schedule. So we had like four classes a day. So if you get early out, you miss like half of all your classes. Yeah. yeah. I think we called it half days when I was... When I was in school. I'm sure we had them. I just don't remember them. I, I also didn't go to early. a lot of school, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so right. there's a lot of half days for me unofficially. I'll say that. <laughs> it's a half day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, thanks for coming back to the podcast a second time. We're just using Shane's intro, right? Yeah, it's I think great, so. Dude, no, we're not going to top that. Yeah, we're not going to top it. No way. <laughs> um, you're our first uh, repeat guest on the podcast, dude, and I'm so stoked to be here. crowd favorite. That's your, what I like. Your to hair's hear. grown back. My hair's grown back. I am not wearing shoes. I'm very comfortable. I feel like we're in the phase of our relationship where we fart in front of each other, <laughs> enjoy each other's company, yep. really yep. get in the weeds. Shoes with it, off, you know? farts out. What was that? <laughs> shoes off, farts out. <laughs> And I say that relationship <laughs> extends to the viewers, too. Yeah. yeah, I think the viewers should fart. <laughs> they should feel comfortable I mean, farting. I like to start, do a lot, start with the fart jokes at 10 a.m. Just really <laughs> get deep right. in it. This is a really, like, a thinker's podcast. It is. We, so, yeah. Ruminate we'll on into it. it. <laughs> so you uh, were telling us before the mics were on, but yeah, yeah. sometimes stuff happens before the mics are on. There's, there's a big thing going on in your life right now that That's right. you might want to... Tell the audience about. <laughs> How's that for a setup? Yeah, well, I don't even know. I don't. I don't know what it is. What? Yeah. What's now I'm on? like, wait, hold on. Did I say a different thing? Uh, I was just talking about the soda thing. Oh going yeah, on everyone. Oh. I gave up diet soda for Lent. Whoa! No, bombshell. Four weeks of no <laughs> diet soda so far. I think. How long is Lent? Lent is like it's uh, more than a month because it's forty days, but that's not including Sundays, which technically. You don't have to. You can like take a break from fasting on whatever you're doing. Oh, really? But nowadays, modern Catholics are like, "Come on, don't be a baby, just do it." <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I've been zero soda the whole way through. So you've been doing sparkling water. I've been doing see. sparkling water, which For does not do it. Food is less days? good. Yeah, forty. 40, 40 it's, so it's like actually like 46 days or something. That's like half a year. Did you say food? It, is- no, that's what I'm saying. It's so long. <laughs> food isn't as good. <laughs> yeah, I realized that like Diet Coke was what was making a lot of food good. <laughs> you ever just like e- you're like eating at Burger King and you're like, why does this taste so bad? And you're like, oh, it's because I'm not washing it down with delicious Diet. Coke. <laughs> oh, that's kind of true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like trying to eat pizza without a soda or oh, something. It's just God. a lot. Yeah, yeah, water. Exactly. That doesn't, doesn't make do sense it. though, because you're just adding more unhealthy things, and for some reason that makes it. To me, the eating pizza without soda makes it seem less healthy. Because really? it just feels so heavy. You can't. There's nothing to get like all the pizza yeah. flavor out of your mouth. It just feels yeah, like I, overbearing. I feel like, yeah, the Coke would maybe dissolve the grease. That's yeah, you have like a mouth. coated mouth. I feel like yeah. I could swallow fire and I'd be safe. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the pizza I'm eating is the 7-Eleven cheese pizzas. Shout out 7-Eleven. How are those? I haven't They're had so good. Really? It's unreal. That's Alex Faludo territory. Yeah. He's the 7-Eleven guy. Is we he the 7-Eleven yes, guy? Yes. Yeah, well, you know listen, that? I will fist fight <laughs> Alex Faludo. <laughs> <laughs> I said it right here, right, right now on. on this podcast. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Faludo. <laughs> and then I hope we can see like a training montage of Alex getting into, getting into fighting. Oh, getting into fighting I love shape. that fight. Yeah, yeah dude. He that brought one. us all when we did. His episode's not out yet. Or it'll be out when this one's out. Yeah, it'll out. be out when this He brought us all big gulps. Whoa, what was your what was in yours? Diet Coke. Oh, Diet Coke for you too? No. <laughs> that's it. No, and no, nope. he's not gonna nope. tell you either. Well, all it's, right. <laughs> all righty then. MTN do. Okay. Classic. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I gotta go with it. Well, that's very cool. Listen, if Alex wants to go blow for blow on drinking Diet Coke, <laughs> I will absolutely shred him to pieces. You both, really? You think so? I once found the limit. I drank so much Diet Coke, I got sick. It was like, 
I drank like <laughs> over like it was almost two gallons in a day. Wow. Because I was insane. like, yeah, I know. I, I was I went camping and on this like this long trip, and I had no diet soda. For you like found a, a week. diet Coke spring? No, that would be. Yeah, yeah, dude, I found the fabled fountain of diet of, Coke. Of youth, yeah. And then I came home, and I had like two days to myself to just play video games. And a new video game had just come out. I can't remember what, what it video was. game. I can't I remember, know. but anyway, maybe it was Persona. Uh, but okay. um, so I'm I'm sitting, I'm playing games, and I drank so much soda that day. I had a little mini fridge it was full of. And I drank like three 12 packs. And I was like, I don't feel good, guys. Like, I legitimately, I started to see the future. It was crazy. Wow. Really? Yeah, it's like it's spice. A spice. From, dude, yeah, I'm spiced up, dude. Yeah, man. I could stop being able to do math. It was crazy. And I legit got sick. And I was like, what's going on? And I drank a glass of water and felt better. And I was like, yeah, okay. Then we found That's the insane. limit. That's three 12 packs of Diet Coke is the limit. Are you excited for how good it's going to taste once you're done with this? Though? Unreal It's going to blow your mind, man. Unreal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you okay. said you gave up diet soda. Does that mean you're I c- allowed to drink regular soda? I guess I could drink regular soda, but it makes me sick. Regular? It's too, too much sugar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've like, I, I, I've got the taste for aspartame so now if i like get (laughs) regular soda in my body it like makes me feel bad (laughs) every once in a while we'll go with a mexican coke in a glass bottle yeah that's better though yeah because that's real cane sugar yeah yeah they use real cane sugar and also you're usually eating it eating something with it so it just makes it easier yeah that's Mm. the one that's the one uh non-diet soda i'll do too yeah those are good have you ever seen you know they make diet soda in the glass bottle no yeah it's real it happens where uh, I've seen it just around. <laughs> I'm not saying there's a specific place it exists, but I have seen it and drank it, and it is delicious. And the same really tall yep. bottle? Mm-hmm. Is it from Mexico? It might be. I don't know. I didn't ask the... I should just go to the grocery <laughs> store. Where do you get these? <laughs> I need more of them. It's from Mexico. Like, like, I, like I just speak English. What are you doing? Trying to like... <laughs> don't they stop diet coke <laughs> he's like that wasn't a sentence <laughs> you're not saying anything you're very dumb i was like i have a duolingo membership i don't use <laughs> i understood the sentence thank you where I is think, where is oh is that really is that donde esta yeah, I think so. Donde esta uh, biblioteca, right? Oh, Where's that's right. There yeah, we go. yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think you crushed it. I know, and I know, me permite ir al baño. May I please use, use the bathroom? bathroom. Oh, yeah. very good. Yeah, so I could pee if I was in Mexico. You could. <laughs> I could. I, that is an option available to me. Where did you learn all your Spanish, Shane? <sighs> Probably sixth grade Spanish class, of which I went to like two weeks. A lot of half days. A lot of half days. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of half days, a lot of me permite ir al baño, no returno. <laughs> Uh, did you uh, take any Spanish classes? In high school? I took three years of Spanish. Wow! But I think my uh, my third year, I think my teacher was like going through a divorce or something. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of your Spanish is like hateful towards men. <laughs> it's just a lot of like. <laughs> it was a guy actually. Oh <laughs> really? <laughs> but no, he was just seemed sad a lot. That makes and then sense. He would just roll out a TV and we watch Finding Nemo in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it's not Nemo. What? Watching the part where the, the wife dies and Nemo He's just and just sobbing. Like, sobbing. Yeah. <laughs> He's just crying in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I think my third year Spanish made me learn. Like I, my knowledge of Spanish went down. Actually. I felt pretty good after the first years, and I think the third year was a rough year for my teacher. And it, <laughs> it, re- damage it removed actively. knowledge from my brain. But a lot, a lot of Pixar in Spanish. That's nice. I um, I took all German in high school. That, that, wow, that, 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 that's <laughs> so weird of you. <laughs> the cra- like, and the crazy thing is, like, you wouldn't think every high school would have a German program, right? But I went to two separate high schools. First high school, I took a, I took German. The second high school I moved to also had a German program, and it was like one of the best in the states. So. Were you going to? Oh, it's like you going to school in Germany. Where are you? <laughs> oh yeah, that's, yeah like, I was going to school. Yeah, in Germany. Um, just listening to Ramstein. Like I get this. <laughs> this is sick, dude. And and the first movie we watched in German was Forrest Gump. <laughs> And I mean, can you Lauf, say Forest Lauf? <laughs> can you say life is like a box of chocolates in German? <laughs> oh man, let me think. Let me think on it. Okay, let me think on it. You got this. 
Um, we'll sit in silence until yeah, you think of it. I'll count in German as high as I can go. I, um, zwei, drei, vier. Nipa, seine, chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I just make English words sound like a little yeah. more German and I mm-hmm. count that. Chocolate can't be real. No, I don't. <laughs> chocolate? <laughs> I think chocolate is a German word. Chocolat. Yeah, chocolate. yeah, yeah. I think that Isn't it's that Swiss German. Uh, it know. could be. I mean, they're all they all stem from the same uh, Germanic tribes. What's that, Rammstein? Is that uh, what is it, Du Hast? Du Hast, yeah. What is Du Hast? Does that mean you hate me? For some reason, I thought that song said you hate me yeah, over I and over so, again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you you hate du me. Du Hast um, Mesh. Yeah, yeah. Ninety nine red luft balloons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, we're learning. I People... still have no idea what they're saying in that one. Um, I do know. I'm ich, just kidding. I know it's ninety nine red bin, balloons. <laughs> ich bin Taylor. Du bist Jordan. Um, Ich liebe Shane. Mm-hmm. I love Shane. Yeah. Aw. That's cute. That's nice. Um, I think every high school is German. Is that, do you, really? think, you think they don't? I don't think they do. My high, My high school had French and Spanish only. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 How do they decide? Just if there's a person that can I literally do it think it just depends on the staff. Yeah. Like if you've got a teacher who's got a language credit. <laughs> we're offering it. They're going, yeah. <laughs> Can you teach so, driver's ed too? You're in. Let's that my go. shop teacher was a driver's ed guy, and one of the reasons I never got my license is because in shop I put a nail in this the like disc grinder, and then as a prank <laughs> I told a guy to turn it on, <laughs> and it like oh. spit the nail, and it literally like shot into a brick wall no. <laughs> while the teacher was standing, and he was like banned forever. You have to wow. leave. Never come back to my class. And then he refused to let me in driver's ed because he was like the kid's a menace. <laughs> Fun prank, man. Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> it was really bad. It was wow. stupid. I admit it, but it's also pretty cool. It also, is cool once that it's stuck in a wall on the lathe. We like made. We were supposed to make things, and I made like a toy wooden gun, and then I like polished it and painted it black and stuff so that it looked real. And another kid <laughs> grabbed it, and he like walked around school with it. And then, yeah, the cop showed up, <laughs> and they were like on the ground, my man. <laughs> and, wow. you know, and he never ratted me out. You didn't put out. the little orange nubbin on the top. Nope. No orange nubbin gets no. you in trouble. <laughs> Making a wooden gun is hilarious <laughs> yeah no so it's like funny. the gun from yeah yeah you could hit someone really hard with it but that's all about it was good for uh, that's but, like a wild promo for a class where it's like these students are learning great skills in shop and every kid's just making it different yeah time. this shows me the replica <laughs> block like i've done it <laughs> look at what all these children are learning <laughs> dude shop class was awesome till i got kicked out and then they made me go to seminary because it was the only open period really yeah yeah and I grew up in a really small town, so it seems like that should be illegal, but everyone was like, nope, go ahead, enjoy yourself. So I got a religious education, which is actually pretty fun. Yeah, for people yeah. that don't know around, for our listeners outside the state, LDS schools here, well, not school, public schools have an LDS break period yeah. where they can go do there, church learning. There are lots of towns where Catholics have the same thing. Oh, is that similar? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's, but this was LDS, for those wondering. So I went and learned about, uh, yeah... All of that, which was fun. <laughs> Honestly, it was mostly just like old school Bible stories, like Noah and stuff. And we were in high school, so I was like, why are we doing like the kids stuff? I think they rotate. I don't know how it works, but it used to be like each year was like, this is Old Testament year. And then oh, this, maybe you were there during so Old I got, Testament. So I hit an Old Testament year. Yeah, I think that might be. Big on the Old Testament. It's a yeah. crazy book. It's good, good stuff. There's some good stuff in there. Yeah, man. <laughs> There's some good yeah. stuff in there. The reviews are in. Do you remember just being a kid reading a story about some lady driving a spike through a guy's face, and you're like, whoa, whoa. Yeah. sick. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in a movie, everybody. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on a podcast? I don't, I don't know. know. It's in the it's book. It's in the Bible. Yeah, Bible. it's in the Bible. Which Bible story is that? Um, Shoot, I can't remember. She goes into a tent and does it. Oh, dang. So everyone watching is like yelling at me. But Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remember. There's listen. the jawbone, killing people the jawbone oh, story. Oh, dude, the jawbone. Okay, yeah. That's Cain, right? No. No. No, Cain was killing someone with a rock. And, <laughs> okay. and the other person was Abel, and they were very related <laughs> to each other. <laughs> That was the first murder. That was, yeah, that was this pottage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Cain was eating Abel's pottage or, or something, wasn't he? Pottage? What are, like, you, wait, like, are you trying to say the word porridge? I thought it was. I thought <laughs> in, the, in the Bible, I thought it was called pottage. Like, I don't we'll, know. We'll Depending on the translation we're talking about. This might have been the German translation. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, in English it's porridge, in German oh, it's pottage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cable yeah. du hast Abel. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, man. Folks, we'll be right back with our awesome guest, Shane Smith. But before we do that, we've got some awesome news. Incredible news. This episode, we are partnering with Ridge Wallets. New style, new kind of wallet. I opened, I said, this isn't going to fit everything I need. I'm a big, I'm a big chunky wallet guy. <laughs> yeah, you want to keep it chunky. <laughs> this thing was so small, it said it could fit 12 cards in here. And you said, bah I, humbug. I said, no. And it said it could fit cash also, and I said, no way. And then I just kept piling every single credit card I have. I'm in lots of debt. <laughs> piling it into this wallet. And it fits so succinctly, has a spot for cash too. It's indestructible, at yeah. least very close to As you. far as we can tell. It's also tidy enough. It's a front pocket wallet. I so was sitting right lopsided. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a little bit of scoliosis going I on. I did. Because of that old chunky wallet you had before. <laughs> I love a good chunky wallet. <laughs> but this thing, honestly, I'm very impressed with it. It's very sleek, huh? So sleek. Look at that color, too. Hyper Lime, I believe, is... Hyper Lime. And I got a nice... A uh, vibrant orange wallet, Ooh. too. Remind me of my favorite co-host. Come on, Megan. now. Um, but this isn't the only color. Neither is Hyper Lime. No, here they have 50 plus. 50 plus colors and styles, including... Well, yeah. if you want to go back to your old style of wallet, they have a leather kind. Or more like cyberpunk, go with the uh, carbon fiber. You know how I'm always losing my wallet, keys, whatever. Yeah. Well, there's an optional air tag attachment you can hook onto this sucker. Never lose it again. Never lose it again. So and nice. The generosity didn't end there. They actually sent a uh, key case as well. Do you so, hear that? I'm not hearing anything, Jordan. Yeah, because my keys aren't jingling anymore. Because <laughs> they're in this sleek little case where I can flip these keys out, yeah. all the keys I need. Up to six keys this thing can hold. And it's nice and easy. It's like it's like a Swiss Army knife. You just pop them out, and then uh, I'm in. Look Wherever I'm going. Look at that. As soon as Jordan no gives me a house key for his place, I'm putting it on here too. You better believe it. Fresh out. And Ridge is so confident in their product, they're going to offer you a 99-day test drive Whoa. to see if you like it. And each wallet also comes with a lifetime warranty. So in the unlikely event that this thing destructs, it we won't. determined it's pretty indestructible, you know? They're, they got your back. They got your back. You'd be silly not to do this. And for being a Dry Bar Comedy Podcast listener, we have a special deal for you. Thanks to our friends at Ridge Wallets. That if you go to ridge.com slash dry bar and use promo code dry bar, you can get 10% off this. This sweet sweet hunk of magic here. <laughs> sweet little thing. It really is cool. Look how compact it is. So we want to just shout out Ridge. Thanks for sponsoring and uh, check out Ridge. They make great products. We'll be back to the interview right now. Um, you brought up Dune. I did. You saw Dune too. A huge fan. You Even look. though it was, you know, not as good as the book by any means. And not as challenging, you know, in terms of theme, but still very fun. Yeah, still very fun. I saw it a second time. And I think the first movie uh, better covers that chunk of the book than the second movie does. Yeah, But they have to cover a lot of ground. Yeah, you have to cover a crazy amount of ground. So it's the the two movies together cover the first book. Is yes, that right? yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, more or less. Yeah, I think it's pretty close. There might be a little bit of stuff overlaps, but yeah, more or less. What would you say? I, I mean, I would say less probably. I, it's a it's a, a heavy. A, a lot of the themes in the book are based on like people's internal dialogues, yeah, and like how they're feeling and what they're thinking and how challenged they are by like destiny and fate and your role in society and how you love other people and what that means. So it's hard to translate that into a movie without yeah, doing really cheesy, hard. like just an actor staring into space is like the internal dialogue mm -hmm. roles. I don't right. like, have you seen the that. 1984 dude? Yes. <laughs> Cause that's what they do the entire movie. Yeah. Every scene, a person walks in and you hear their voice. Yeah. Like every character for, and they're just pumping in so much information in every scene that I've like, if you watch this and not knowing what Dune was, you'd be like, what is happening yeah, in this movie? It's really bad. It's, so, it's crazy. How <laughs> and they're wearing it. just like surfing wetsuits and stuff. <laughs> like the budget is terrible. It looks like we made it on our phones. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I've only seen the first movie. I'm planning on seeing the second. Sick, yeah. And then I, want, I also want to read the book. You want to hear his yeah. review of the first movie? Not funny enough. <laughs> not <laughs> funny enough. That's what he said. Yeah, I agree. It is not funny enough. Dune could really lighten it up. <laughs> um, yeah, that basically is the, the span of it, yeah. Taylor was like, no, I said it was too dour. 
That's how just getting out of the exorcist could have been funnier. <laughs> <laughs> they really missed some opportunities there for some jokes. <laughs> I understand that she's possessed by the devil, but he has no sense of humor. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> Seems crazy. It's just the just the way Timothy Chalamet wa- is walking around. You know, it's like <laughs> it's, he's all always angsty, looking around, ang- always angst. Just I need yeah. a, little, a little bit of like the other side of the coin. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. just make him a little likable. I don't know. Come on, your whole family dies. Lighten up. <laughs> Let's do like some jokes or something. Whoa, we this your planet's full of worms. We're not going to do one joke about it. This is crazy, dude. Well, imagine if you were at, that guy was actually around. You'd be like, yeah, I know that you have the worst life ever, but you know, like you know, tr- just try and lighten up a little bit so you're yeah. more bearable to be around. Yeah, a zinger or two, dude. I got. Do you have any Dune zingers? There is a you'd funny. Like, there's one funny beat in that movie. It's at the very end where. Cheney or Chani, I forgot how they pronounce it in the movie. Who's uh, that? Zendaya's character. Okay. Or Zendaya. I don't know, actually. I don't know how to <laughs> say it, dude. <laughs> but uh, he's about to, it's the ending fight where he has to fight on one of the Fremen to get into the tribe. Right, right. And she gives, cool him, the, she gives him this knife, so you can use this. It'll be an honor for you to die with it, which was a funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. you're going to die. Exactly. Maybe it's only funny to me. I don't know. I don't, they they could have right, they could have thrown some they could have been like dude this planet is full of worms what is it my mom's dog this is crazy <laughs> that's what I'm, that's my what mom's I'm talking dog about. does have worms for real though <laughs> all right now yeah I guess the question is if we, they were to cast Jack Black in the movie mm. what character would they have Duncan Idaho <laughs> Duncan Idaho. <laughs> yeah. Or or uh, Duke Leto. I think he could be a, he, could, he could be Paul's dad pretty well. It could, too. It could be pretty cool if he was one of the Benny Jesuit also. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, put him in one of the tall little hats. <laughs> yeah. He's hanging out. He looks like Tom Jabbar. Yeah. I can't, I can't do a Jack Black. Great idea you, though. I like yeah, I like it. <laughs> uh I brought up Dune though, because you're you have a mind that you know the lore of like everything. I feel like yeah, I'm a big nerd. But like Matrix, <laughs> well, you're that's trying, how we what you're trying it. to say is you spent most of your life without a girlfriend. <laughs> and yes, I have. Yes, while but, my friends were in love and doing things like going on picnics or dates, I was at home listening to lore videos or an audio book while listening to music and also playing a video game at the same time. You can do picnics by yourself. Yeah, it makes people <laughs> depart pretty uncomfortable when I do it. I'll tell you that. Especially if you set up two play settings, but nobody else comes. <laughs> also, the, the crying makes people the uncomfortable. <laughs> my scream crying I do, my weeping. Um, but we thought it'd be, asked, it'd be fun to ask you, within a different world, what's, what's our favorites like uh, lore worlds? My favorite lore worlds, Warhammer. Yeah. Warhammer. And Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Pretty much tied. Warhammer 40K. I like Warhammer Fantasy, but um, Starship Troopers. Okay. okay. Big Robert A. Heinlein guy. I read Starship Troopers, and I was one of the people who was like, I got to join the army over this. <laughs> and I met so many other guys. I went to a bookstore the other day, uh, and it was like the staff picks. And one of them was Starship Troopers. And in the staff pick, it said, my husband joined the army after reading this book. That's all I have to say. Is the book, because I've seen the movie, and yeah, the movie's yeah. kind of like a satire about war and stuff. Is the book more like straightforward, like this is yeah. awesome? So was it Paul Verhoeven who made Yeah. Yeah, so Paul Verhoeven made Starship Troopers, and he refused to read the book. He didn't want to read. Oh, really? He so, didn't want to nothing. read science fiction that was like dense or whatever. So he hired someone else to read it for him, and he's like, summarize it for me. And the lady kind of summarized it, and he's like, I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> and so, so it's like nothing like it. So no, what she did was he was like, what's the theme? And she was like, well, the theme is that, like, the idea is that, you know, it, it's a book about fascism and uh, not understanding your enemy and, and humanity and what it means to be human. And he was like, all right, I'll touch on those themes. Mm. And then he threw in a bunch of sarcasm and weirdo stuff. So it is kind of on theme, but it's nothing like the Do you book. like the movie? I love the movie, yeah. yeah I fun. When I was a kid, I watched it before I read the book. Uh, okay. My mom thought it was like a Star Wars movie, <laughs> so she let me watch it when I was like, it came out when I was like 12 or 11. Yeah. No, I was even younger. I must have been like 10. <laughs> Dude, and you know what? Back then, they would make toys for like rated R movies, which is like clearly you're trying to get kids to watch this Well, movie. they made a Saturday morning cartoon show about it. Do you remember yes, that? Yes, yeah, yeah. It was like yeah. a 3D <laughs> Rico's Roughnecks. 
Which is so wild to me that that existed. It's a theme. It's not for children even a little bit. No, not at all. But I watched that movie. I remember being like 10 in the movie theater, and the guy was like, are you sure you want to watch it? So my mom's like, I know what I'm doing. You know, like, if my kids want to watch a Star Wars, they'll watch a Star Wars. And then she sent us into the movie theater alone, and me and my three brothers are just sitting there watching bugs rip people apart. Like, it's so violent. Whoa. <laughs> and, of course, we thought it was awesome. I'm utterly lost. I have no idea what Starship Troopers Starship is. Troopers is a classic movie about humanity's struggle against the bugs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like the sound of but it. people saw it as a, you know, an analogy for like the American. Uh, people thought it was like very prescient for like the war in Iran and stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be about like how you could try to do the right thing, but then you end up uh, doing the wrong thing, I guess. And so okay. the idea is, you watch this, or you read this book, and you come away thinking the military is bad and they're hurting the bugs who are actually the good guys despite being scary looking or you read the book and you go that was sick <laughs> i want to blow something up right now and i was one of the people who read the book and was like i just need a really old guy to yell at me until i'm so strong and then let me blow something up so i immediately joined the army over it and i've met so many other guys who were like yeah dude it's that idea that you can't make an anti-war movie because men are mentally ill. <laughs> and so, like, no matter how horrific you make the movie, dudes are like, that was pretty cool. Sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. I watched Saving Private Ryan as a child because my grandpa fought World War II and, and he had all these, like, stories and he said how bad war is or whatever. And my mom was like, this is going to make my boys, like, understand and we watched it and like we just wanted to play world war ii for after that we were like this is the coolest thing i've ever seen in my life like <laughs> yeah she was like but they all die and we were like yeah and <laughs> what's the problem here can i ask you a lord of the rings question please who do you think is the most overrated character in lord of the rings the most overrated character in lord of the rings is probably frodo really yeah, yeah that's big. yeah sam is the goat yeah, Sam does a lot of heavy lifting. He does a lot of heavy lifting. A lot. Like, without Sam, it all falls apart. And everyone kind of just like, Frodo this, Frodo that. Frodo's just kind of there. Sam is, like, more willing than Frodo. He's making, like, active choices, whereas That's Frodo's true. just kind of going along, being shuffled by the wizard and everybody else. Yeah. Right. Sam is, like, the paragon of friendship and, like, determination. He's also the only person to... Uh, have the ring and then freely give it up. He has the strongest will of anyone in the whole series. I feel like I'm kind of the Sam of this podcast. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Are you carrying him around? <laughs> but he gets all the glory. Yeah, but I get all the glory. Yeah, I'm happy with the arrangement. <laughs> yeah, that's any movie. I love the the character who is like represents friendship, like Doc Holliday in Tombstone, mm. Sam in Lord of the Rings. Um, others. <laughs> I have no other examples, but they exist, um, I'm sure. So what, with, with Sam, do you think Sam could have just carried the ring on his own the whole, the whole way? He probably could. I mean, he, I, I think they needed each other, but Sam is like, you know, integral. And he also did carry the ring for a time, which is why at the end of his life, he gets to go to Valinor and live with the elves for eternity. When does Sam carry the ring by himself. I don't remember. Uh, he thinks Frodo in... dies and he takes the ring uh... and continues the journey alone. But that doesn't happen in the movie, does it? I don't think it does. Does it not? I can't remember. The movie is, a lot of people are like way into the movie. It is r really inaccurate. There's a ton that's not in the movie. The timeline is all messed up. Yeah. There's whole characters and plots that are completely taken out. Um, Aragorn's character arc is nothing like in the in the books. He, he's like confident and like knows he's going to be the king and wants to be the king. In the movies, he's like kind of a will he won't he thing. Yeah, yeah. The movie is pretty inaccurate, and in fact, a lot of people were uh, mad at the movie before it was so highly acclaimed. But regular people love the movie so much that now we just kind of accept like, well, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I did after I watched Lord of the Rings? What joined the army. <laughs> like, right, give me a bow, dude. Give me a bow. Where are the swords? Get me out into the desert. I'm gonna shoot an orc. Yeah. But I, would, I wouldn't say also Lord of the Rings is an anti-war movie. It's very much a. It's yeah. Their their awesome opponents movie. are ontologically evil. So yeah. yeah, yeah, which is a very rare for fiction. 
to make a good fiction where your opponent is ontologically evil is like pretty difficult. Define it ontologically for the th- viewers like at home. irredeemably evil. Oh, okay. There's nothing. There's no like nuance. Totally. Orcs are simply evil, and there's no there's there's no other option for them. Right. So to kill them by any means necessary or fight against that evil is just like an obviously clear and good path. There's no moral gray area. There's no like political thought. It's yeah. just kind of like these are the bad guys and they must and be evil. stopped at Very all clear. costs. Whereas like, you know, you read Dune and you go, okay, well, there's like, who is bad? Yeah. Who's good? Like, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of fiction kind of ma- begs the question. Lord of the Rings begs zero questions and still manages to be like incredibly compelling. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Do you think uh, George Lucas stole ideas from Dune? Yeah. I think there's a big ev- debate online right now about it. Everyone in the world stole ideas from Dune and Lord of the Rings. Dune is the science fiction Lord of the Rings. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. any any piece of science fiction media, Warhammer, like all of it, anything modern, Aliens, all of it is is informed by Dune. Dune informs like even like our idea of like how faster than light travel works in the future. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. it's it's all Dune. Because George Lucas never admitted it, and that really bothered uh, Frank Herbert. Is that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. George, and so people, I've seen people online being like, no matter how much you want to think it, there's no evidence that George Lucas ever read Dune. There's no, no. AI. <laughs> there's there's only droids and no other AI in Star Wars, which is like a clear nod to the Butlerian Jihad. Yeah. Where like you can't have super smart computers or like groups of robots that have their own societies and stuff. Yeah, it's like clear. Well, it's even like just a, like Dune looks like Tatooine, and there's weird. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a sandworm. Yeah, a guy so, with a rocket pack falls in. <laughs> wasn't the first time they were going to make Dune? Um, it was a, like a Chilean director, and he like storyboarded a bunch of stuff, and the storyboards look pretty identical to to Star Wars. Oh yeah, general, yeah. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, George Lucas obviously, and that's the thing that's annoying. Is like, yeah, borrow, beg, borrow, and steal. It's fiction. Have fun with it, but like, don't pretend like you don't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's funny the people, the real like strong Star Wars people, oh, going in so defending dorky. it. It's, it's like okay that he took some from yeah, it. Yeah, like, defending what? Yeah, <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah, the totally original story about like a son who has to become a hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely not something that's yeah. ever been done. <laughs> oh Lucas. man, you mean there's an evil <laughs> empire? Tell me more about yeah. the story I've never read about. Are you a Star Wars guy at all? Or no? I, yeah, I have Star Wars tattoos. I love Star Wars. But, like, it's so obviously derivative of, like, everything else. Yeah. Well, George Lucas invented the hero's journey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can all admit that. Yeah, dude. I think George Lucas is cool. Super creative and interesting. I think the first three episodes, episode one, two, and three, are, like, way uh, underrated. Mm. Especially now that we've seen the newer ones. How did you feel about the newer ones? Terrible. Horrifically. All three of them? No, the the seven. Seven was like, okay, these this the overall writing is horrific, but at least it's fun. The actors are doing well. The characters are getting set up. We've got some interesting things, even though it is like the laziest writing humanly possible. Truly like, well, let's blow up another big thing like A New Hope, you know, yeah. but mm-hmm. still really good. And then the other two... The one after that is like one of the worst science fiction movies ever made. <laughs> See, that's my favorite one. To be honest, really, I like Last out of, Jedi. Out of the new ones, or <sighs> it might be rival my favorite uh, overall of Star Wars. Rogue Whoa. One is my favorite. I do love Rogue One by like a significant margin. Really, but I'm not like Star Wars isn't like a sacred thing to me. I like it, but like oh, okay. Last Jedi, I thought it was some really interesting ideas that pushed Star Wars in a different way. But I know that made people really upset. It was bad. <laughs> what, what didn't you like about it so many things it was horribly written it made no sense they like messed with the fiction there's like a, a lady like and she rams another ship with a ship you're yeah, like why was... didn't you just do that in the first place there's people leaving faster than light and coming back while they're on a run it's like just run that like what is, the whole thing makes no sense <laughs> i like it i like the space gas stuff Space fuel that they were running out of the space was, fuel, <laughs> just like us in real. They're just like us for real. We run out of space fuel all the time. <laughs> I had to put space fuel on my Subaru today. But I do like how interesting this morally because Star Wars is also one where it's like good and evil is pretty. It may, may not as much Lord of the Rings, but but yeah, it's pretty clear. But it's pretty clear. But I liked it. Introduced this idea of like the you know the 
the war it's the people outside that are funding the war on both sides yeah yeah but that's a little bit too morally grave for i like that like i thought that was interesting that's an interesting mm-hmm. concept but in the extended universe of star wars george lucas kind of handed it over to these authors who all did a really good job and they ask a lot of questions that basically make it so that you understand that the jedi and the sith are both bad guys the jedi are as bad or worse in many, many ways. They're complicit in slavery. They right. um, steal children. They like hide uh, things. They manipulate politics. And they're just like kind of maintaining the status quo, which is, and then you, you see that there's like arms dealers and stuff in the Star Wars universe. And you're like, oh, yeah, and the Jedi are complicit in that. Yeah. Totally bad. Huh. Not good at all. So then they ask a lot of questions about, like, well, if the Jedi are bad and complicit in the status quo and slavery and all those other things, and the Sith actually – and also the Jedi are, like, anti-love, which is, right. like, affects people, and the Sith are pro-love, but then also they allow themselves to get too close to power, which makes them insane. But there are some Sith in the extended universe who don't go crazy, and they live, like, normal lives and aren't bad people and, like, have wives and stuff, so – it's like this weird balance where you're trying to like figure out and then there's a middle and I thought they were going to ask that question in the new Star Wars. Like I thought Ray and uh Kylo Ren were going to be like actually both our parents like we're going yeah, the wrong well, direction. They call that a gray Jedi. Yeah, or yeah, is that let's what do a call? new third thing. So, but do they, they call, didn't. Is that they didn't what do they that call at all. A gray Jedi? I, is that right? I, I can't my, remember. My friends are more into it. Sentinels maybe like the yellow lightsaber or whatever. Yeah. There's also like enclaves of people who use the Force so that it like up to other stuff. Like Darth Maul finds a bunch of ladies, these witches that use the Force and he's like I'm in charge now. Okay. And he has robot legs. <laughs> That's yeah, important. Because he got a, half of his body cut off, so they gave him robot legs. And I assume other robot things. I don't know what's going on waist <laughs> down <laughs> with Darth Maul. But is was, that a Clone Wars thing? Yeah. yeah. But isn't he like a spider? Is it like spider legs? I don't or, know, man. Yeah, like Wild Wild West style? Is this blowing your mind about the Sith, that they're actually the good guys? I had my suspicions. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think watching the movies, it's tough because you're like, you see you see Anakin's journey and it's like he's just if he wasn't put in such a like you know polarizing situation where he had to like give up everything to become a Jedi if he could just you know have this relationship and have it be out in the open yeah right and then not feel totally guilty for it then you know maybe he wouldn't have been transformed into this it's this also mean like guy what do you – you're just taking – like, they take the child and leave his mom. It's like, hey, you have a laser sword. Kill that little weird guy and take his mom also. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. you're, that's so insane to me. He's got a, a like, of a, a, a elephant nose. Cut his head off. <laughs> like, he's Wait, doing saying, nothing. Wato. He has an elephant nose. It's – you, it's more acceptable can't to cut take, his head yeah, off? Yeah, can't take him seriously. It looks weird. Kill him. <laughs> yeah, What's that man. guy's name? What's that? What's Watto. That? Motto? Watto. Watto. Okay. Watto. Do you remember yeah. the episode one game? It was on <laughs> PC, maybe PlayStation 2. Um, not PlayStation 2, but PlayStation as well. Just to clarify. <laughs> yeah. <I> was, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you could uh, kill. It was a kind of a, each mission was an open world. You could kill everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. remember this game? I do remember that like, game. Like you could go to where the Gungans were <laughs> Grand Theft and Auto just style. kill You got to do it. It was crazy. As a kid, I felt like, this isn't right. This isn't Star Wars. As you're doing it? Yeah, then I joined the army. (laughs) (laughs) I got to find some Gungans. Oh, man. Uh, Taylor had a good question for you. Yeah, let's hear it. I'm wondering if the... Has anybody, like, expanded on the Tolkien universe and tried to introduce that moral ambiguity yes. on both sides? Yeah. A Russian author wrote a book about how the orcs are actually the good guys, and they're trying to use industrial industrialization to move like society forward and live and do different things, and that the fellowship and um, the unity of good races or whatever, elves, dwarves, and men, are actually the bad guys. And it kind of doesn't work, but it is interesting that he tried. And it's <laughs> yes. pretty cool to read, yeah. Yeah. It's hard to make um, things that eat humans. Yeah. Like, you know, give them that kind of a yeah. lo- that is lovable, the, cuddly side. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the thing in Starship Troopers where, like, they're bugs. So, like, we see them as lesser. But the idea is as the as you go through the narrative, you see that, like, they populate planets and live there together. And just because we don't understand how they live doesn't mean they're bad. 
And so you're kind of like, uh oh, <laughs> yeah, why are we killing him again? <laughs> this this kind of sounds like en- Ender's Game too. I bet it's yeah, yeah. Ender's intense. Game is a big one. Ender's Shadow is the better book, but Ender's Game is good. Just, Again, the best friend. I love the best friend. Oh yeah, because Bean is the smarter one. Yeah, mm. dang, that's good. So you you've been playing the Hell Divers, right? Of course. And similar because that's it's playing on the Starship Troopers. Yeah, thing. yeah, exactly. But there's a moment because when you can talk to like the NPCs on your ship, there's a moment where you, I talked to one and she was like, "You want to know the most disgusting things about these bugs?" And she she goes, "Every planet we go to." They're already there. They're so disgustingly expansionist. As <laughs> like, you're expanding, yeah, it's so funny. Uh, are we going to look at comments that we pulled up? Can we right, roll? please. So we got some comments based on our last interview specifically. <laughs> Did you guys make sure they're nice? I'm very sensitive. I feel uh, like your your videos have very uh... okay. Well, we're we're right off. The, the gate with a, the, a hot wow, one Wow, we're attacking. Okay, so Mountain. this person says, Mountain Dew has terrible ingredients, but some people get hooked on the caffeine, not understanding it contributes to sleeplessness, anxiety, anger, mood problems, and stress. And one like. Did you like that, Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be so mad if you did. Firstly, Mountain Dew has terrible ingredients. If they're so terrible, why are they delicious? Checkmate, mm-hmm. <laughs> BGM5 something. <laughs> also, a not understanding contributes to sleeplessness. Why would I even want to sleep? I could be playing video games. <laughs> anxiety, jokes on you, I already have lots of anxiety. Anger, well, I would be more angry <laughs> if I didn't have Mountain Dew, and I know that from not drinking it. <laughs> Mood problems. I don't even know what that is. What's a mood problem? <laughs> mood problem. Too happy all the time? Exactly. I'm too whimsical <laughs> and stressed. Well, I'm a grown man, so I am in a constant state of stress as God intended. <laughs> it sounds like this person is only drinking uh, Code Red. Yeah. Yeah, that's Unreal. a Code Red These person code for red, sure. Man. Yeah, dude. Okay, let's. I reject that wholesale. <laughs> Rejected. <laughs> yeah, <Next>. dude. <laughs> Redacted. <laughs> yeah. Invalidated. <laughs> Wrong. Okay, let's see the next. You want to take this okay, one? Okay, this one, uh, Rachel says, I don't think I'm better than Mountain Dew. I think I'm too weak for Mountain Dew. <laughs> you know what? I agree with Rachel. She is too weak. <laughs> that's some self awareness, though, Rachel. Yeah, I think yeah. That's a good... Work on it. <laughs> funny. Just drink a shot in the morning. Like an espresso. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Build up your tolerance. That's what I'm saying, yeah. dude. Mix it with water. Put a shot. In. <laughs> I do know someone who used to mix water with soda, and it's like heresy. And what that are you seems doing? So it doesn't seem satisfying. What is even the point now? No, that's yeah. I don't like that. Insane people behavior. But so I, th- we Rachel could get there. Rachel could get there. Listen, everyone can get stronger. I believe in all of you. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching this, you could get stronger. So. <laughs> I'm getting stronger by sipping Mountain Dew. Every, I, could, I could do that. I'm diet. a picture of health, dude. You're getting, both getting stronger and eroding your bones. I'm approaching. I'm approaching a big deadlift this year, and it's gonna be powered by soda. So, what's the deadlift? How much? Five hundred pounds. Wow, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry that me deadlifting your body weight isn't impressive to you, Jordan. I set him up for that. (laughs) Got him. All right, I uh, I love you so much. I love you. You're very handsome. That was very funny. Okay, why don't you take this one, Shane? Okay, Mountain Dew guys drinking Diet Coke. (laughs) Yeah, I am. It's called Variety is a spice of life. Who liked this comment? I go Jordan. Through. I like most of them. I'm just happy people <laughs> yeah. are commenting. <laughs> um, Mountain Dew guys drink it. Yeah, I do drink Diet Coke a lot. Here's th- what happened. I moved to the East Coast, and the East Coast is not a Pepsi place. They have almost all Coke products all the time. So right. then Diet Mountain Dew was almost impossible to find. And so I had to start drinking an alternative, and I got hooked on Diet Coke. A dark soda is good. And sometimes you want to go even darker. You go Diet Dr. Pepper. I do. Treat. I do like Diet Dr. A Pepper. A little too. treat, dude. Mm-hmm. Ever had Iron Port? No. It's a local soda named after Porter Rockwell. As I oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was like, whoa, hipster soda drinker over here. <laughs> yeah. it, there's, I think we have some downstairs. You can try some. Oh, wait. wait. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely not diet. No. We just brought you in to really tempt you out of Lent. Just stacks of soda everywhere. Dude, you could never in your life. <laughs> no, I believe you. All right. uh, <laughs> no, I believe you. I, I know. You're just right. Submitted. All right. Samantha says, 
I've been sitting here looking for a Shane video. I haven't seen and I can't find one. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> LOL. Dang, what, what's happening? Why, on why this? are you hiding all your videos from from poor Samantha? It's Shane? literally just Google me. <laughs> does she not? Or does she type my name into the search bar, woman? What are you doing? This is also on a video of, of you. me. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. What is happening? And you didn't like this one, Jordan. So I appreciate. Yeah, that. thank oh, you yeah. for not encouraging I, I, yeah, Samantha. I don't, I don't encourage. <laughs> I like if she's got her full name. Maybe don't do that. Do you think that's the last four of her social <laughs> on there? <laughs> she's full name, last four of her social security number. That's I made great. that account when I was eight. I don't know what to tell you guys. That's funny. Why right. did you have your social security card when you were eight? <laughs> Samantha, drink some do. Use Google. Yeah, that's crazy. Shane. I can't find a Shane Smith video. <laughs> have I been shadow banned from Google? <laughs> Yeah, so we have more comments. They I don't that, want I think me. There's to at least a, a couple more. Spread the truth that diet These coke are, is actually that's it. for you. We did it. I don't think my comments went through. Can I read? Some yeah, of let's my read comments? those. Let's read those. Okay. He's busting out his Pixel. Pixel Eight Pro. Wow. Why do you do that? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Why would you just not have an iPhone? I don't. Uh, I don't like them. Really? Uh, yeah. What about it? Don't you like? Um, it feels a little too like uh rigid yeah rigid. it too, feels cold it feels not cold, funny enough not very funny <laughs> <Too dour. laughs> Could have more jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh see this is what happens people he gets married and he gives up <laughs> now he's just got an android hey, you've hey, always had adrian, an android. adrian adrian yeah i've never been an iphone guy actually have but you I, ever I, had one i was an ipod touch guy Okay, you had an Which iPod was like touch. an iPhone without a phone. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. We were old. <laughs> I tried to explain that to a kid the other day, and they're like, I'm not. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so you, yeah, you had an iPod Touch. It's the phone part you don't like. I, just like, I like Google so much, and Google's all integrated to it. Or I like using Google things. Google. I also, this will Google, infuriate great company. you. This will infuriate you, because it infuri- <laughs> infuriates everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, does this for SEO purposes or something? I we love know. Google. <laughs> Uh, oh, here we go. Maybe this did come through. This is a wild ride. Shane, you should read this one. Okay. It's a wild ride of a comment. Thank you, Dagwood, for your comment, <laughs> which I will now read. Mountain Dew has brominated. Is that the word? I'm not wearing right. my glasses. Brominated, yeah. Brominated vegetable oil as an ingredient. Why? Why? No, just, <laughs> just vegetable oil, but they brominate it first. Oh, well, I was addicted to Diet Coke. I would drink 15, a 12-hour shift, at a bromine processing plant. <laughs> Firstly, those are rookie numbers. Pump your numbers, Dagwood. Fifteen. But he's really de- he's. Here's what's interesting. He's so concerned that it has brominated vegetable oil, and then it turns out that he works. He at the works bromine. there. I think he's. This is a joke. What right. is brominated? What does the word brominated mean? It's not good. Whatever he's saying. And why not just vegetable oil? I feel like if someone said they were going to brominate me, I would pull my gun. <laughs> I don't want to be brominated. Yeah, I don't know don't, what it is, but don't it should go to prison. I don't uh, even think it's good we do it to vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it sounds like bromine is the um, the purest form of something brominated. Maybe, yeah, that, maybe. I would think so. Well, actually, maybe I am pro brominating because if it's in Mountain Dew and it tastes <laughs> delicious. <laughs> You know, I just feel like it's when our bro, I think we bros should... are hanging out and having a good time. We're all brominating. Oh, yeah, like, dude. I, I think that's brominate. It. Brominate is when you're like all in a hot tub together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're yeah, all yeah. brominating. <laughs> uh, oh, this was an interesting one. Oh, Brie. I know Brie Pruitt. Oh, okay. She's a funny comic and a lovely person. One day, Diet Coke people are going to go to war with y'all and we will lose 14 likes. Incorrect. Incorrect. And saying, correct. Oh, and correct. and correct. And correct. Yeah, there's no way the Diet Coke people would ever stop the Mountain Dew people. Firstly, Diet Coke is like like a cute a cute lady drink, you know? <laughs> a lot of ladies are just chilling. They're, yeah. And the people who drink Mountain Dew are like not wearing a shirt, and that's not a choice they made. They're just like they have no shirt today. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, I'm realizing she might be saying that though. Maybe she's saying she's part of the Diet Cokes. Like yes. one day the Diet Coke people are going to go to war lady, with y'all, and one day and we will the Diet Coke people will lose. Exactly, so that's what she's, she's saying. Like, oh, okay. Exactly, she's saying. and she knows because a lot of Mountain Dew people they spend their their teeth budget on guns. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? You've got a, you've got a, you know how as an adult you have a teeth budget? I have one. I lost a tooth the other day. And uh, it really eats into your gun budget. I'll tell you. Uh, so if you funny. want all the fronts of your teeth. And that, that's why you're forced to make guns out of wood. <laughs> no, exactly. Dude. I have to, now I have to go to shop class and hope people don't know. That's funny. Um, Okay, follow up before we get to this next one. All right. You're kind of, but you might be more, a little bit of a Benedict Arnold because you started as a Mountain Dew guy. Yeah. And then you got this fix for Diet Coke. I did. And do you know what? I read a book about Benedict Arnold, and though he is a traitor, he did more for the cause of the American Revolution than he heard it. Okay. And he's actually a pretty important because guy. Because he was so bad at being a traitor or what? No, no. He was <laughs> he it's complicated. Okay. He, he, honestly, a lot of it has to do with his wife. So she's really in his ear. Uh, oh. England. <laughs> meh, 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 yeah. The king. <laughs> Love will make you do crazy what? things, man. Trust me. Uh, wow. <laughs> it's being insane. You, I, I'm gonna amend that. You're less of a Benedict Arnold, more of a gray Jedi. Okay, thank you. Man, yeah, that's that. right. I'm in the middle. I see. That's my thing. Everyone always goes, there's one one way or this way. I always go, what about the secret third thing I'm doing? I'm about the secret third thing. <laughs> I like that. Combining you. Diet Coke and Mountain Dew in the same glass. <gasps> It's like, you know when you do an experiment as a kid and you put like honey and oil and they separate themselves? It would be so cool if it did that. So you're like drinking Mountain it. Mountain Dew, Diet Coke, bromine. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a Neapolitan shake or something. You work your way through it. I feel like drinking that, just go back to doing is, is like what the Reverend Mothers drink too. If you mix Mountain Dew and Diet Coke together, that's how you really yeah, yeah, open yeah. up your the water the of life. That's probably too far of a callback for. <laughs> There's like one guy who's Red Dune watching, like, yes, That's uh, awesome, Jordan. Okay, talk about secret third thing before we do this comment. Yeah, just I need everyone I've told this to gets really upset at me. Okay, so most people use Spotify. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm, just, I'm just imagining you being like everyone I've told this to gets really upset at me, and then you just show me. A, you're like, I went to the bank. I told them I had a gun. <laughs> they were like, Ooh, see, everyone's such a baby these days. No, this is worse. Okay, uh, so a lot of people use Spotify. Some people, I feel like, get shamed for using Apple Music. Yes, right? yes, rightfully so. Yeah, I. Are you using the third Oh, thing. no. It's got to be Google. I what are use, you right? using? I use YouTube Music for my streaming service. You know what? I'll allow it. Really? Yeah. Because uh, I have I was... a bunch of YouTube playlists of like live concerts I listen to. Yeah. So if I want to listen to like a live show, like there's a bunch of videos of them that I like, and I will, I'll be at the gym, I'll bop that live album. Okay. So Thank you know you. what? <laughs> I thought I was so ready to hate you. I wanted to. I wanted to be mad at you. I love it. <laughs> I'm addicted to, to just <laughs> really ripping on you, but I, respectable. I, thank yeah. you. Because I told some, somebody was telling me they're like, I use Apple Music. Everyone makes fun of me, and I go, I get that because I use YouTube Music. And she was like, you use YouTube Music? <laughs> yeah. Firstly, <laughs> sit down, at Apple Music. Okay, over here. The only way you use Apple Music is if you get it for free when you buy an iPhone. Yeah. 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 But YouTube Music, it makes sense because you can listen to things you couldn't get anywhere else because they've got the Thank concerts you. on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, if you have if you have the YouTube thing, then there's no ads, so it's like, yeah, that makes sense. That's yeah. fair. So it's smart wow. purchase. Yeah, Apple Music is the worst thing. Where is she? Let's call her right now and tell her <laughs> you're. Hey, you're wrong and silly. <laughs> I was actually brought her in today just so I can in case this happened. It was Holland over here. Do you, do you remember the food you can eat where or like the candy where it would play music through the candy into your brain? <laughs> Did I dream that's this? Not a, that's not a real thing. I didn't dream this. Does anyone else remember? Just shake your head if you. Dang, dude. No one's ever. <laughs> you're, saying, you're saying there's candy you'd eat that would play music. Here we go. I'm telling you guys, if you Google it, there was like a lollipop that you eat and it would play a song. So you could get like the Taylor Swift lollipop and you'd be eating a lollipop and then it would pump Taylor Swift directly into your brain, <laughs> CIA style. And okay. Uh, okay. and you would hear it in your head as you were eating the food. Can we get can uh, if there's anyone in the, in the producer booth? Can you try and find out what this is? <laughs> it's real, dude. I swear to you. Unless I'm a kid and I just dreamed it. Yeah. What if I um, made, what if I invented it? That's an insane. I'm just eating a lollipop with a, a AirPod in my mouth. Like this is crazy. <laughs> and it was all Taylor Swift stuff, and that would explain. The fandom that exists. I around. actually had never listened to a whole Taylor Swift song until I started dating my girlfriend. So, how do you feel? I don't know. It's fine. 
She's talented, but like it's obviously music for not 37 year old men <laughs> who have constant anxiety and are filled with rage. <laughs> Wait, those, like, were, those were those Mountain Dew symptoms. We yeah, were no, that's what I'm talking about, dude. There's not a lot of Mountain Dew drinkers. That t- you know what? I take that back. I bet you there are a lot of guys that drink Mountain Dew that are like, I actually love Taylor Swift. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> They're just shirtless in overalls. Where are your shoes? And he's like, I don't know. I'm here for the concert. <laughs> I've been to two Taylor Swift concerts. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? By yourself? Yeah. Yeah, no. I bet everyone was stoked <laughs> you were there, dude. I bet everyone was pumped. No, it was dude. with Adrian. I feel the same way. Like, I think she's very talented, but it's not music that's directed But she towards makes your me. wife incredibly happy. But I will say it's probably the best live performance I've ever seen. Really? She puts on an amazing show. Wow. Like, Did huge. you record it on your phone and then later upload it to YouTube Yeah, music? I'm going to watch it after we get. <laughs> <laughs> You're on YouTube. Music. Jones and to watch chilling. it actually. Yeah, she makes. Oh, oh, it is, oh here, no we go. Way. here we go. Okay, this isn't it though. Music lollipop suckers. Boom! I told you this isn't it, right? This isn't the brand. You're this isn't of. the brand because you could buy it at like Sev or like Maverick or any or like yeah. Publix or whatever. But this is the concept. This it does concept. exist, and I am not wrong. Novelty gift for Mother's Day. Amazing, tasty sound, sweet gift, and look at that <laughs> that grandma. She loves. She's that music. so happy. Dude. Amazing, Listen, tasty Taylor sound. Swift. Yeah, dude. Okay. Chew. There it is. That's it. Melody pops. Is that yep. it? Melody pops. Yep. That's yeah. the one. So dude. is there an electric device in here playing? Oh yeah, dude. Here's the thing about candy: <laughs> you need to get safe. an electric device <laughs> as close to your mouth as possible yeah, while yeah. eating. Wow. And enjoying a treat. Melody That's pops. Wild. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I'm not crazy. It turns out. I'll be real. I, for there was like a split second where I was like, "Uh oh." <laughs> I, I have said things to people, and they're like, "That's not a real thing." And I'm like, "My bad, everybody." You can convince yourself of stuff. I remember one time I. Uh, I, you know, when you have braces, you're not supposed to eat hard candy. Yeah. <laughs> One day I did it and I busted my braces. Oh, oh no, man. And I didn't want to tell my orthodontist that I just disobeyed his command. Yeah. So I said, I just, it was, I was eating an egg roll and it was, must have been really hard or something. <laughs> <laughs> but what's crazy is I can remember the egg roll breaking my braces. It didn't happen, but I convinced myself so much. The, the candy story sounds not real to me. The a girl story sounds yeah. real to me. Yeah, you wow. know when the Titanic sank, a bunch of people who witnessed it said it didn't break in two and that it just went down, uh-huh. even though they watched it because they were like – a bunch of people had conflicting stories to the point that we didn't know what happened until someone got down there and looked. Oh, interesting. But like, yeah, people, when they go through a traumatic thing, sometimes they'll like <laughs> make it up in their head. And it's very traumatic to break your braces yeah. because you need candy. Kind of my own – titanic actually yeah that exactly yeah. that was your titanic <laughs> moment you're like jack never let go and your braces in this situation they, are jack they let go and the door was not big enough for the both of you to be on that water <laughs> i always think about that because i'm a big guy i'm like man if i was ever in a titanic situation i would die immediately i can't get on that with my girl she we would sink and die oh, together yeah. so fast i'd be swimming around people be like mm-mm <laughs> yeah, like, they're like oh we have uh, no room for you dog. They, would, they would go shh and push me down <laughs> <laughs> actually though i'm i think i think jack's a baby i could survive in the cold i could have done it <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, I, ice like, plunging oh, is all oh, in right now i'm cold i'm like i plunge all the time dude uh, you're cold i'm be, exhilarated i would be in there with my girlfriend and she'd be like are you okay I'm like i'm actually i'm loving this <laughs> this is i'm great. having a dopamine high <laughs> right i'm now. built different <laughs> <laughs> She's like, never like, oh, my. actually, I won't. I won't. She's, oh, okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> roll so I guess roll we'll credits, just... I guess? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crazy that boat sank. Yeah. I love you so much. <laughs> let's, let's, let's live a life together. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. That movie would be wildly different. <laughs> <laughs> when is the last time you saw it? Uh, it's been years, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I watched it as an I watched it as a kid. And um, and then I watch it as an adult later, and I watch it as an adult going through a breakup. So oh, it just destroyed me. Oh, yeah, man. I was watching it on my computer while playing a game, like on the other monitor. <laughs> and I remember just having to take a break and like pause Discord because I was like, "She did everything he told her to do. Like, <laughs> she lived her life so well." It was really sad. And then she throws a diamond in the ocean. And I was like, "Yeah, dude, that's awesome." <laughs> yeah, dude. Jack should have been if he was just more of an alpha. That's what I'm yeah. saying, dude. If he had lifted any weights, 
They would have been out of there earlier, you know? Because he could have just broke the lock himself, but instead his girl had to go find an axe to help him. It's like, how emasculating, dude. Yeah. She yeah. was like, I'll get an axe to help you. I'd be like, no, I'm good. And then just drown trying to get out yourself. No, baby, I'm cool, actually. Meet me up top. How weak were both Jack and that boat? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If dude. that boat had boat, been more of an alpha. Boat versus ice? Come on. <laughs> no, seriously, <laughs> dude. That's crazy. Oh, the thing that makes my Diet Coke delicious killed everybody? <laughs> that makes no sense, dude. <laughs> you ever think that like uh, global warming is mankind's revenge on ice for the Titanic? Yeah, dude. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Getting rid of all the icebergs. You caused this iceberg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's your fault. You brought this upon yourself. I can't believe you would do this ice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, do we have an- one more comment or how right. many? This is the last one. All right. Okay. Any, oh, this will be a nice way to end. Yeah. Do you okay. want to read it, Shane? Yeah, I'll read it. Anytime I see a video with Shane Smith, I'm going to watch it. I don't care if it's him reading the back of a shampoo bottle. It will be amazing. In 82 likes. Wow, it was really Whoa, positive, that you guys. Was super positive. Yeah. And we brought a shampoo bottle. For Did you? you? No, oh, no, I no, thought no. you were really going to have <laughs> we one. We could throw one up on the screen. Let's see Dude. if this, the hypothesis checks out. Dude, I'll read the back of a shampoo bottle. I'll crush it. So much. <laughs> this person just Googling back of shampoo bottle <laughs> and then just accidentally seeing the worst thing you can imagine, probably. <laughs> Who knows what's on the internet ever? How great would it be if the first ingredient was bromine? Did you ever bromine. see when I, <laughs> when I was so, people don't know this, but I was divorced once. It was bad and not good. I knew this. I did that. Yeah. I think, yeah. It sucked. It was awful. We're both divorced once. We're both brothers. divorced once. Yeah. We w- listen, you're young, you make mistakes. Now, I've got it all sorted out. I know the perfect person. But when I was getting divorced, uh, it was terrible. And uh, I was very sad. And I lived in my brother's spare bedroom, which my brother had three cats at the time. And his spare bedroom was just like three litter boxes in my bed. It was very (laughs) miserable. I was very sad. And also, he's like one of those weird pet owners that loves his pets too much. So I went to his bathroom, and I didn't have any toiletries because I had just been – I'd removed myself from my home. It was starting over. So I had been using the shampoo for a while – and then one day my brother was like, dog, why is my cat shampoo almost gone? And I was like, what are you talking about? And I turned the bottle over and there's a picture of a little kitty cat. <laughs> and it was cat uh, shampoo. I'd fully been watching with cat amazing. shampoo. But you know what? No fleas. I was <laughs> beautiful. My coat was <laughs> For the soft. first time in your yeah, life. I was, my coat was shiny and healthy. People are petting you. Yeah, dude, it was really embarrassing. He literally was like, "You, dude, it's expensive. You've been using my cat. I watch the cats like once a month. Why are you using cat shampoo? It's like, my bad, bro. I didn't read the bottle. He's like, there's literally a photo of a cat on it. Yeah, but cats can just be spokespeople That's, for yeah, Also, shampoo. I'm a dude, so we're using like three-in-one soaps or whatever. It could be anything. I'm depressed. I'm just throwing whatever liquid into my hair. So I been washing with cat shampoo for a while okay here we are, are. You, are you gonna be able to read this oh i am not gonna be able to read this can, we, no can we zoom in <laughs> made it Make smaller. It smaller. Oh, all right here we okay. go all right so this uh, is the not test. zoomed enough i'm so sorry is there any way to computer enhance <laughs> it didn't work everybody i just want to uh, 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 okay uh. here we go oh there's no way what about Command Plus? <laughs> <laughs> Try this button. Or I feel like if you downloaded the picture. <laughs> <laughs> like we're trying to problem solve downloading the back of a shampoo bottle so we can read it. This is really It'd be wildly We need this podcast to end well. This is this... the only way it can happen. But I do feel like if you download in, in whatever photo app. You can... I'll tell you what. <laughs> Joe Pack. Rogan ain't doing this. You know no. what I'm talking about? <laughs> he doesn't have the courage no. to read the back of a shampoo bottle on air. Never in his life could he be as engaging and interesting. All right. So let's, let's, let's clarify. The what purpose you... of this activity yes. is to see if you can make reading the back of a shampoo bottle Entertaining and engaging. Entertaining. And Not engaging. only that, but amazing, as AMWT2UL said. Yeah. What do you think that stands for? Um, adult male with two with, <laughs> with the two unlikable losers. Losers. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's right. our Name podcast. That yeah. Podcast. <laughs> nice, dude. It's your comment. You're being positive at me, Taylor. Yeah, man. That's so cute. <sighs> What if I look up the back of a shampoo? Yeah, maybe do it on your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
I'm just gonna producers. Go. This is your chance, man. Beat the clock, <laughs> dude. You'll you'll never beat me. You couldn't in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> I've already done it. He's there. Okay. All right. Here this is zero SLS free shampoo, which I don't understand. Also, have you ever? Why do do you guys shampoo with like expensive shampoo? Sometimes uh, I steal my wife's shampoo, and it is so much. Does better. it make her mad? Is it like because it's like a thousand dollars or whatever? Her. She has to go in and like do trade her tears <laughs> in like some kind of ritual to get yeah. the <laughs> shampoo. It's crazy. All right, this shampoo bottle is wild. Why you want it? Treat stands with a daily dose of this nutrient-rich blend with vitamin E. That's not a real thing. It's not? No. The government wants you to believe it's real, but it's not. Vitamins just go to D and stop? That's what I'm saying. Yes. Vitamin D is the one the sun gives you. Vitamin E is made up. They just say it's real so that you want it in your hair, but it's not. (laughs) And no one Google that. Um, To help heal the signs of damage. Why is your hair damaged in the first place? What are you doing to it? Yeah. That's what I want to know. My hair is healthy because I'm not damaging it. (laughs) Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like, why are you hurting your hair, ladies? Revealing a healthy looking glow and lowering the risk of future breakage. Oh, I hate future breakage. Break. In the future, I don't it could. think it works like that. <laughs> hair just breaks. Well, it doesn't break now. It's in the future. True. If hair breaks, explain why my eyebrows get so long. <laughs> it's crazy how long they get. I look like an evil owl sometimes. <laughs> you have to. You, if you, you, nothing's more humbling than having to have your girlfriend trim your eyebrows like oh, the yeah. worst version of a barber. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> like yeah. You're in the chair, and she's like. Getting I've been you. there too, man. I've got I got some crazy eyebrows. Really? That, that kind of genuinely. Yeah. Adrian will say she'll look at me and go stand still, and I go don't do this again, and she'll go stay still, stay still, and then she grabs it and tries to rip, and oftentimes it takes three or four times. <laughs> oh, no, like starting <laughs> a like, lawnmower, ah! <laughs> and the hair doesn't break. That yeah. just proves hair doesn't break. Dude, girls love to like rip a thing out of you. Oh, they're so in your it. eyebrow hairs, a zit, your heart. They'll do it all, <laughs> dude. <laughs> They will destroy you. Um, but not my girlfriend, though. She's perfect and nice. What you do... Okay, this is the... Oh, and then it's in Spanish. Should I read the Spanish part? Oh, Por que la necesitita? Oh, wait. Nece- necesita. I can't. Okay, I'm out. Um, <laughs> I wish it was in German. We could read it. Yeah, German. What you good. do after shampooing... Oh, this is the instructions on how to... I love the idea of someone buying a shampoo bottle as an adult <laughs> and being like... like how does it work? <laughs> is All the ali- aliens. <laughs> she, they're just putting it in a cup to drink. Like, I hope this makes my hair healthy. <laughs> what you do after shampooing, apply conditioner, conditioner generously to hair. Conditioner is not real. That's another psyop from the government. <laughs> I'm not lying. When I had long hair, I never conditioned it. I don't know what you what it's for, what it does. Uh, it's fake. Silky and do smooth. you condition your hair? I do. That's insane. <laughs> do you? What does it do? What do you think it does? Uh, I think it makes it silky and smooth. The, the, it already said the shampoo makes you silky and smooth and prevents future breaking. That's true. But now it's kind of like how Frodo gets all the credit. Samwise is the conditioner that is. Oh, oh, the conditioner is doing all the real work. <laughs> I see. Conditioning my hair for what? To betray me? Uh, to <laughs> do something else I don't want it to do? It's a, it, my hair's doing a marathon soon, so that's the condition. <laughs> <laughs> it's running away? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> condition so it gets off it my head. It has betrayed Listen, you, Jordan. Listen, we're men in our 30s. We're not long for this world. <laughs> our hair is piecing out. All right. After shampooing, apply conditioner generously to hair, working through the end, to the ends. I like the idea of someone who's just like, nope, only the top. <laughs> uh, wait three to five minutes. Whoa, is that real? You're supposed to leave it oh, in. Oh, yeah, I don't do that. Okay. I want to read those instructions and I, you try to shower that long. It's insane to me. Three to five I minutes. I like to hang out in the shower, but just hang out with hair full of a liquid for three to five minutes or like yeah. gel. I've never in my life even kind of done that. Yeah. I, I do it directly under the water. Oh, yeah, it's not, it's not sinking in there. But I'm not conditioning, I'm shampooing sometimes. <laughs> 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 Sometimes <laughs> rinse hair thoroughly. Oh, and then it has warning: avoid eye con- avoid contact with eyes. If contact occurs, rinse immediately. For best results, use a conjunction of other OGX products. See, wow, it was so interesting. Everyone I, loved that. I, I will. Yeah, I'd say it's amazing. Like the amazing. comment said, "Suck it, Joe." I will <laughs> say that's the. You don't want to get it in your eyes. Conditioner, either, 
either. No, they didn't. Did they even they didn't even have that in the instructions. Well, he just said it. Doesn't no, it? I just said it. Okay. They said not to get it. Well, in how long eyes. ago did you check out? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, about, okay, about so step two. About the, step the two. The shampoo bottle was not as compelling <laughs> as I had hoped. No, he was contemplating if conditioner was real, and it's not. Big. That's what big hair wants you to believe. They're trying to sell you all these products. You a bar of soap, run it through your hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. So wow. Well, well should we end on that? Finishing note? on yeah. a bang, the shampoo bottle. Wow, said it couldn't been, be done. Good luck is... making a clip out of that <laughs> podcast, Holland. <laughs> <laughs> Just off camera yelling if, at if her. anyone can do it, it's Holland. Yeah, yeah dude, we believe in you. It better go viral, or I will be deeply sad. Well, I think since you started the podcast, you should you should can we have Shane close the podcast? Hey, everyone! Uh, I, I think that's more than acceptable. Thank you so much for listening to the Dry Bar Podcast. Don't get conditioner in your eyes; you can and will die. Vitamin E isn't real. Not real. Uh, don't drink Diet Coke during Lent. Um, <laughs> Jordan uh, Taylor, thank you so much for joining me on this podcast. It was a wild ride. We laughed. We cried. We we fell in love. They did. We and brominated. We brominated. <laughs> There's a lot of brominating, and I feel like that was positive. So, wow. hey, everyone, you can get stronger. Drink Mountain Dew. Love you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.